The piece of me keeps pulling on you like an anchor's weight. I see a distant storm and wanna keep you close at bay. I only want the best for you, that's true, make no mistake. In time you'll see the best of me, you're clearing up the rain. Never give up. <laughs> Never give up. It feels like yesterday we were sitting across from each other at Noodles and Company and talking for hours. I'm amazed at how far we've come from boyfriend and girlfriend to cat parents to fiancés to now husband and wife. We have grown so much. I want you to... Always remember how much I love you and how excited we are at this moment. I love you so much. Your almost wife, Amanda. But now I am a different man. I'm thinking as I should. Turbulence it comes and holding on to something good. Never give up. One time, Alex uh, was going to go on a date with some random girl at Noodles. And for some reason, we didn't hear back from him for a really, really long time. And so for our friend group, that's weird. We were the kind of friend group that would talk every hour on the hour. And we don't hear back from Alex. We're getting nervous. Did he get in a car crash? I don't know. Uh, so we finally get a text from Alex saying, oh my gosh, guys, I've been at Noodles with this girl for the last four hours, just talking the whole time, and it was awesome. And that Noodles date's name was Amanda. We are actually here. Are you nervous? I'll be honest, I'm a bit nervous, but simultaneously extremely excited. Thank you for all your hard work to plan this beautiful day. I can't wait to kiss you in front of 160 plus people. Looking back on today, it will have come and gone in a flash, so let's make sure that we take every moment in and enjoy it with our loved ones. And most importantly, each other. I love you so much, and I am so lucky to have caught myself such an amazing person as you. Next stop, baby making down slash homeowners. Love your soon-to-be husband in T-minus 178 minutes, Alex. So this is it. The two of you are about to become husband and wife. You are about to pledge everything you are, everything you have, and everything you're going to become to each other for the rest of your lives. Now this is not a commitment that either of you can take lightly. There's no asterisk or fine print that says, unless I change my mind, or unless I'm having a bad day. The vows, the promises that you are about to make to each other must be honored every moment of every day for the rest of your lives. Hard knows that I always do. You and me. I didn't just fall in love with you. I walked into love with you, with my eyes wide open, choosing to take every step along the way. I promise to always give you the living room TV for Sunday night football, as long as I can have it on Mondays for The Bachelor. <laughs> 
I promise to always listen to your side of things, even when I already know I'm right. And I promise to always be your best friend, partner in crime, personal calendar, and wife. I can't wait to see where this journey of life takes us next. But it's hard to speak. Us coming together might seem like a random occurrence in the world, but to me it's clear why we have met. I promise to you to love you and be there for you for the rest of eternity. Today is an amazing milestone in our story. I'm looking forward to building our family together. I love you so much, Amanda. Therefore, with the power vested in me by the state of Wisconsin, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. So the first date went great, noodles, awesome. Uh, fast forwarding a little bit to the third date, um, they decided to go canoeing down a river. Awesome, very romantic, good choice Alex, if only it turned out good. So halfway down their trip, uh, down the river, it decided to downpour. Their once romantic trip down the river turned into a very wet romantic trip down the river. If only that was the end of it. After it started downpouring, the canoe capsized, and they tipped into the river. So they ended up swimming to shore, hiding under a tree, waiting for the rain to stop, which also does sound quite romantic, I must say, but not the strongest third date out there, I must say. I remember the first time Amanda said I love you to Alex. We were visiting Lauren in Milwaukee, and it was supposed to be a girls' night, but Amanda couldn't stop talking about Alex, and that's when we knew he was the one for her. It has been a joy to watch you guys grow together and to be sitting here next to you both today. I'm so happy you found your forever dance partner. I love you guys. Cheers. you are on your wedding night. I could not be happier for you guys. Cheers to noodles dates and tipped canoes. Cheers to wrestling matches and friendships that only happen once in a century. Cheers to Amanda and Alex Brookty.